Okay, looking here at dock leaves. Dock leaves, a very important uh, toilet paper leaf before our toilet paper. <laughs> before toilet paper was invented. There are several native docks too that the Australian indigenous people would have used to wipe themselves with. It's important to have toilet paper, isn't it? Ah, oh, look, beautiful dock leaves. Just the right size for a person. I mean, what did Mr. Darcy use? What did they use in the old days before toilet paper was invented? Think about it sometimes, how we take toilet paper for granted. There are some smaller leaves over that way. Where are they? There they are. Just the right size for a child or a baby. People have always practiced hygiene and they've always used leaves. If there was a Garden of Eden, people certainly would have wiped themselves with leaves, wouldn't they? They would have. They would have. Here are some more dock leaves. We should learn to recognise dogs, shouldn't we? If your car's ever broken down and you have to go to the lavatory, well, you just have to make do with what you've got. That's what Australian people do. Anyway, it is. I come from out in the bush where people did make do. Nice big dock leaf there. Lots of dock growing in the ditch here where it's wet. They do like dampish places, don't they? Lots of dock there. Nice big leaves. Let's go and look at some mullein now because that's another uh, toilet paper leaf plant. Dock anyway. There's some lovely mullein or mullein, M-U-L-L-E-I-N. Look at the beautiful leaves. They've been called uh, cowboy's toilet paper, I think, in America. They are sort of furry. <laughs> They'd be the, the luxury toilet paper, I suppose. The Rolls Royce of leaf toilet papers are one of them, although some people say that the hairs on them irritate their bottom. That's what I've been told by some YouTube feedback. But um, look at that. They're soft as anything. You could line a baby's crib with that, really. Look, it's so soft and beautiful. Look at that. It's so soft and furry. Look at that beautiful fur. This is the luxury toilet paper, isn't it? Covered in fur. You could line a little baby's cradle with that beautiful fur. So lovely. Can we have a look at it close up? Lovely stuff. It's got a bit of dew on it at the moment, but it's beautiful, lovely, furry stuff. <laughs> really abs <laughs> absorbent toilet tissue. Beautiful and furry. Lovely fur. So soft, it's like a lamb's ear. That's mullein. I look at a couple more plants going around the yard. It pays to uh, sprinkle the seeds everywhere. One day you might need some toilet paper. You might. They mightn't be factories anymore one day. There's another mullein, mullein growing in there. Beautiful leaves to wipe yourself with if you need to. Lovely soft leaves. They used to grow them outside toilets, I think, in the olden days. Important uh, toilet plant. When people went out to their toilet, they'd pick a mullein leaf before they went in. Sensible. Hygiene has been around for a long time, you know. And finally, there again, there's another mullein. Easy to recognise, a nice flat plant, or well, in that stage, rosette stage. Nice flat leaves, very furry, beautiful and soft. Lovely to touch like a lamb's ear. <laughs>